That has been four years of Marvel Strike Force. And luckily for us, there is an awesome event going on right now for some awesome rewards in this video. I am talking about how to max out your rewards for the celebration incantation event. Get all of your successful brews. And if you're ready for that, call your potions master. Yes, yippee Kaye. And if you're ready for that, you know what to do. Find that like button and let's go blob it. Alley flying. Valley Club, we have a very, very friendly event going on right now in Marvel Strike Force. The Celebration Incantation event for the four-year anniversary of Marvel Strike Force. Professor Snape, he is going to help us to craft all of these potions here. Wanda is right here. Let's talk about uh, the little details of this event. This was described in a blog post a few days ago, exactly as described. And the way you're going to get all this cauldron currency, that's a big currency here. And to get these milestones, you're going to have to spend the currency in the store. There's some decent stuff in the store. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't appear that there's any unique gear for the teal pieces, just the origin pieces. All right. So you're going to get the currency by spending campaign energy, ISO 8 energy. You're going to get it from blitzing your butt off. And then you're going to get it from claiming daily objectives. Daily objectives for raids. There's a couple of them. Two raids and then eight raids. Two arena battles and then two real-time arena battles. That is how you're going to get all your cauldron currency. And the things that you could control that is that you can do more or less of, more energy or more blitzing. Those are the big X factors here. Milestones, we're going to take a look at that in just a little bit. We got some pretty decent milestones there. Uh, four orbs. Now, this is the... We got some pretty good orbs here. The contents of these orbs, very, very, very friendly. We got the Noon of Eye orbs. You're going to get this in a calendar. The Dragon's Tooth orb. We got some pretty friendly... Uh, Dark Hunter Web Warrior shards. At least 40 of a very recent character found in an offer. How much do you think this is going to be? The the offer that was there for Spider-Man and his No Way Home outfit, that was $5. Let me know what you think this offer is going to cost because, of course, we can also, in addition to these shards, get the Black Bolt costume from this offer. Frog's Breath, you're going to get that and... Uh, T1, you're going to get that into milestones. You're going to get T1 crystals in there, a lot of them, and then Elite 5 credit. You're going to get that in an anniversary gift inbox. And the costume is that Black Bolt costume. Let's go take a look at these orbs because these orbs are pretty good. We're going to go to the store to see these orbs. So you're going to go to the supply section and supplies there. Uh, this is what you can buy. Some teal gear. No uniques, though. Some orange gear. Some really, really okay stuff. Not not like the uniques that we need, but it, this, this is a pretty friendly event outside of that. All right, the orbs. This is where you get these orbs. So the Eye of Newt orb, you could get this free to play. What do you get here? Well, you get a lot of uh, teal pieces here. 18 of one of these. Maybe you could get Oz. Maybe you could get something else, but 18 of these pieces. Very, very good. Guaranteed eight pieces. 40 of these unique pieces of purple. And... 50 of these unique pieces of these orange. Very, very good stuff. All right. Frog's Breath Orb. This, this is okay. It's not as good as the other one. Some of these fully crafted pieces, though. These aren't parts. Look at these. Five pieces. You get three of those in the left pillar. Two of these. That's five total. Seven fully crafted pieces. This is actually a pretty good one. I take that back. This is a, Frog's Breath is a good one. That's the one in Milestones. This is the one you're going to have to buy. And if you look at this center pillar here. 40 shards of one of these more recent characters. And then you go to the left pillar. You're getting these web warriors. You get you get a couple of these normal Spider-Man and Miles in there for some of the older characters. But you still get potentially 20 shards of one of the newer characters. Right pillar. Two old characters, two new characters, 20 shards there. So potentially 80 shards of a good character. And this, this is pretty much just basically an Elite 5 credit there. All right, let's go to these milestones. And talk about these milestones in general. And let's not forget the web store that we have. All right. Successful brew. Decent stuff. Some purple gear. Some decent pieces. Nothing too outside of the ordinary, but we get some of these new Osmium. Let me know. Let me know in the comments if you guys have got a lot of Osmium. We get some 
uh silver promo credits more scarlet witch shards here's more of this stuff the superior temper odd museum the new unique piece we get more of the teal there and then we get some armory 16 orbs down towards this now what do you need to do for this well if we go all the way down to the end 85,000 points 85,000 points the dragon's tooth orb is the offer only yes offer only the other three orbs you can get for free so the only way to get that black bolt costume is to buy one of those uh, orbs there all right so you need 85,000 points let's go to the word uh, the text document so 14 days 85,000 points total which breaks down to 6,000 a little over 6,000 points a day so for your objectives, this is what you're getting for there. Raid, two times, you're getting 50 of those uh, cauldron points. Eight times, you're getting 200 of those cauldron points. So by, by raiding 250 points, just by doing at least eight raid battles per day. Real-time arena battles, 125. And arena, you do two of those, you get 200 energy or 200 cauldron points. Now, energy... I went really, really conservative with these numbers, guys. 600 is the minimum. You get one point per energy, so 600 total. You could do a lot more, especially with these web store milestones, the energy that we're getting, but that's the bare minimum. If you do more than this, if you spend those 50 core refreshes and stuff like that, then you'll, you'll do less blitzing. The ISO 8 energy, you're getting two per, so the minimum there is 400 to reach all your milestones. If you're doing just the minimum, not spending any cores, not going outside of that, that's going to give you 800 points there. So per day, the minimums, and this is misspelled. I think this is misspelled. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, nine, almost 1,900, almost 2,000. So the short that you're going to need per day to get all of these, to get to the 6,000 points is 4,000. And you're going to need to make that up by blitzing, or you could spend a little more energy. Now, with the blitzing, each sim blitz, you're going to get 23 points. Manual blitz, 25 points. So obviously, if you have those, uh, if you have the um, stuff off, or I mean, uh, if you have the, um, if you have the ability to sim blitz, not that much of a difference to sim blitz. So cauldrons per rotation you're getting 690 and that is only based on 30 wins we have 37 full teams in save squads this is this is because i know not everybody has those squads if you haven't been playing along and sometimes sometimes you lose so uh if you if you're basing on 30 wins obviously you're very conservative with the numbers six rotations should get you there so very very friendly event and again we're getting some good stuff from this event. These are these are some of the rewards. Now, in addition to this, we also have more rewards going on on the web store right now. So if we go to the web store, we have another milestone that's going in, in conjunction with this. And if we look at the scoring for this, it's stuff you're doing for these, or these successful brew milestones anyway. You're getting points by winning in blitz. And to get all of these, well, you're probably gonna grind this pretty easy. These, these are gonna get this. If you're doing these blitzes for the successful brew milestones, you're gonna get all this stuff anyway. So this is like free stuff that you're getting if you're gonna grind for these milestones. Pretty friendly event. And, and yet you're right, you're right, chat. Is somebody gonna get fired that this event is so friendly? <laughs> and if we look at the stuff, the rewards that we have in here, it is, it is pretty friendly, surprisingly. So don't sleep on these. Don't forget to get all these shadow casting uh, rewards. Don't forget to get your normal web rewards because this is going to get you some normal campaign energy that will go towards these milestones. Pretty, pretty good in my opinion, guys. This is a pretty good milestone event. Let me know your thoughts on it. I think it's a good event, but uh, yeah, let me, let me know your thoughts. I think, I think it is good. Could be better, obviously, but the six blitz rotations, it could be worse. And it's based on wins, so we don't need to we don't need to score the highest. We could we could lose with seven teams if you have the max and then win with three. So very, very easy. Two friendly events in a row and two pretty much friendly conjunction, uh, two pretty friendly milestones running in conjunction with each other. What is going on? Maybe this is the makeup for all the bugs of the web store. 
I don't know, but let me know your thoughts on this. I will see you later. We are reacting live to the blog post later today, so come back. We're actually, we actually got the web store working, so we're going to um, open some Doctor Strange orbs again. Open some more Red Star orbs for him. Hopefully, you guys have a great rest of your day. Give me that hog fist bump, and good luck with this event, ladies and gentlemen. Four years. Hog fist bump, Valley flying out. Have a great one, guys.